Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You may notice that I have a different background set up. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. I'm not sure if I'm in love with it or not. It might be a little bit too busy. So let me know what you think in the comments. And also I know a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do a video with baby Carter in it. And that is going to be next week. I was trying to pull it off for this week, but I realized I need some help. So that's gonna be for next week. For today, I'm going to be sharing the most essential habits in my opinion, for keeping my life organized and productive. I think planning is pretty intuitive for a good way to stay organized, but the way that I like to plan the most effectively is to plan first. So before checking email, before jumping into anything else for the day, I set aside five to 10 minutes to plan and not only write down what I need to do, but then prioritize that list of things to do. I specifically do this before checking email because sometimes, as you know, when you check your email, you can get distracted and it could change the course of your day. So once I have my list together, I start with the number one top priority item. That might sound really obvious, but sometimes people want to do the quick and easy tasks first and then put off the higher priority items until later. But our energy is actually the highest at the beginning of the day, so it makes the most sense to tackle the most important things first and then later in the day do the quick and easy items. Next is to write everything down. This is going to help you remember all the things you need to do and make it less likely that you're going to drop the ball on something. I don't always have my planner with me so what I like to do is I use an app. It's probably my number one most used app for years now. It's called Google Keep and it's an app where you can keep all of your notes together. So I have different lists so when things come up, let's just say I have a video idea or there's something I need to buy, I open up this app and I put it on the list so I never have to worry about forgetting anything. And another thing I really like about this app is that they have the option where you could take a picture note. So if your friend gives you a book recommendation, you can just take a picture of the book and then tag that picture to one of your notes or create a new note with a reminder or whatever you wanna do. But in my opinion, this is my favorite app for writing things down and remembering things. I personally think the hardest thing about being organized and productive in this day and age is the prevalence of distractions everywhere. I constantly have this nagging feeling like I need to check my Instagram or I need to check my email. So what I like to do is I give myself chunks of productivity time and then I reward myself with social media or whatever it may be. So for example, if I'm working on something, I'll say, okay, for 20 minutes straight, I have to just work on what I'm doing. I can't look at anything else. And if I do that, then I will go check my Twitter feed or something like that as a little break and reward to myself. It is much easier to have good daily habits and spend 10 to 15 minutes a day keeping things organized and tidy versus letting a mess pile up and then having to set aside an entire day to get everything back in order. I've done an entire dedicated video on this of all of my habits for keeping my house clean. So I recommend you watch that video after this one. I will link it below. So one small example for this, when you get your mail from your mailbox and you come home, rather than putting it in a pile, take three minutes of your time and sort that mail at the moment that you get it versus letting it pile up and having to deal with it later. It can be difficult if you're trying to be organized and the other people who live with you or are close with you are completely disorganized. It can kind of throw everything off. So what I personally do, because I live with someone who is not a type A personality like me and he's a little bit more messy than I am, I allow him to be messy, but in a structured way. What I have are what's called designated messy zones. So I have little areas in the house where he can kind of consolidate his mess so he doesn't have to feel pressured or resentful to conform to my cleaning standards. And this way I don't have to deal with his junk all over the house, it's in contained areas and he can deal with it when he has time. I am constantly getting rid of stuff and continuing in my efforts to declutter my life. So what I do is I have two different giveaway baskets. One is downstairs, one is upstairs, and I am making a conscious effort every day to put items that I'm not using in these giveaway baskets. And just having the baskets there is a good visual reminder for myself that I should be thinking about decluttering. I find one of the most important things in my life in terms of staying organized is to foresee potential problems 
and then have a solution already prepared. Really good example of this is this week I was planning on doing a video with the baby, but he wasn't cooperating. I wasn't able to film it by myself. So I had this video all planned out as a backup and now I ended up using this and I had it all ready to go. So my entire week didn't get derailed. So whatever it may be, I always just find that it's good to have a backup plan ready and in place. So those are what I would consider the seven most important habits that I personally follow to keep my life as organized and productive as possible. And it's become even more important now that I have a baby. I'm telling you, my life could very easily fall apart at the seams. If you do enjoy this video, I recommend that you check out my organization video playlist. I've done over 30 videos now on different organization topics. So if you want to go down the rabbit hole of organization, check out that playlist. I will leave it linked down below. Also, don't forget to let me know what you think of this background. Has it grown on you throughout the video? Do you hate it? Let me know because I do want something more permanent that I can film in front of and I'm just not sure yet what I think. So that's gonna be it for today. If you are new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you did enjoy this video and you like my organization videos, then please give this a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And with all of that said, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.